Okay, welcome to the course. It's fantastic to have you here. I think you've made a really good choice and a really good investment in yourself. So in this course, we're gonna take you from someone who probably knows what bending moments and shear forces are, and you've probably sort of muddled your way through drawing those diagrams, but you know, you might get it wrong as many times as you get it right. This course is aimed at taking you from that place to a point where you can reliably draw bending moment and shear force diagrams, and not just draw them, but really understand where they're coming from and what they're telling you about the structure. So that is the real focus of this course. So as I said, if you're an engineering student of, of any description, I think you've made a really, really good choice in, um, in, in signing up for this course. So um, I guess I should probably point out a couple of things about how I deliver courses. So my regular job is I'm a lecturer in structural engineering. So I usually stand up in front of actual classes full of people and um, deliver pretty much what I'm gonna deliver for you in this course. And the way I do that is I tend to take a nice steady pace through a topic and what helps me take that steady pace is I write my notes on a tablet, old school, the way my lecturers would have taught me um, when I was in uni. And what that tends to do is it slows things down nicely. And, and in, in fact, invariably, all my students end up commenting at the end of my, my modules in, in uni that actually they thought things were a little bit slow at the start and you know it was a bit tedious having to write everything out, but actually they got a massive benefit from it. So I tend to write things out and that's what you'll see as we progress through the course. And what I strongly encourage you to do is also write out, write out your set of notes alongside me. And um, even if sometimes it just feels like you're copying out what I'm, what I'm writing, trust me, there is value in it for two reasons. One, you start to produce a body of notes in your own handwriting. And that's a really powerful thing when you're trying to get to grips with a new concept or a new idea. Um, so it just, it just helps it reinforce it into your mind as you're writing out um, alongside me. And the other thing that it does, which is really quite valuable, is it slows things down. It just reduces the pace a little bit. Again, if you're a university student, you'll have been in lectures where the PowerPoint type lectures and someone comes in and they put up a deck of PowerPoint slides and it's just bang, 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 and they race through the PowerPoint slides. That, that is a really challenging way to be introduced to a new topic or idea. So in just taking it down a notch and slowing it down and sort of writing through our notes and you writing along with me and annotating and putting your own little extra pieces of notes in along as we go, that will just really, really help you get to grips with understanding what it is I'm saying and what it is I'm introducing. So that's the first thing. So just sort of, because it might be a bit unexpected if you're sort of standard uni student, you're used to just PowerPoint slides hitting you one after the other, it'll be slightly different in this course, but I think you'll find it works. So that's how I deliver the course. Now, a bit of an overview of what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off talking about some basic concepts and ideas. And for most of you, I suspect this will be revision. We're gonna talk about how do I get um, to calculate reactions. The first step to calculating a reaction or to calculating bending moments and shear forces in a structure, a statically determinate structure, is calculate reactions. So we're gonna do a couple of examples on that um, in the course. It, very short, because as I say, it's, I suspect it's revision for most of you. We're also gonna talk about some of the assumptions that relate to the material in the course. And we'll talk about those sorts of things like assuming we've statically determined structures, we've got planar structures and so on. And we'll talk about that shortly. So those are the assumptions. Um, that's the first section. In the next section after that, we're going to move on to talk about bending moments. Just introduce the idea, what are bending moments? What are they telling me about the structure? Why am I interested in them? And how can I start interrogating the structure to determine what the bending moments, internal bending moments are at different locations in the structure? So it's, a, it's an introduction and it's a basic concepts section on bending moments. In the following section after that, we're going to talk about essentially the same ideas, but for shear forces. So again, where are they coming from? Why do I care about them? How do I interrogate the structure? And what are they telling me about the structure? Okay, so that is our shear force introduction. After that, 
that's where we really dig in and start to understand the fundamentals and how these these quantities relate to each other so that in that particular section we're going to talk about the relationship between the loading on a structure the shear forces and then the bending moments so there is a cascade if you like of of, of understanding that happens here if we know what loading is coming onto the structure well we can derive certain things about what the shear force will look like in the structure. And if we know what the shear force looks like, we can derive certain understanding about the bending moments in the structure. And by the end of that particular section, you will really, really have a good solid understanding and be able to look at a structure, simple beam let's say, look at the loads on that beam, and then say, right, logically, I can deduce, without any calculations, what this shear force and bending moment diagram should look like. So qualitative analysis, essentially. So that's section four. Section five, the section after that, we're going to talk about essentially bringing it all together. Take everything we've learned up until this point and use it to just go through some examples. So section five is pretty much just examples. We're gonna look at some, some structures with um, all sorts of loading on them, which, you know, you look at them at the start and you think, geez, there's a lot going on in this. But, you, but using everything you've learned up until that point, putting it into practice, you'll be able to systematically handle the structure and determine systematically again the bending moments and shear forces within that structure. So that will mark a real milestone in your understanding of bending moment and shear force diagrams. And then in the final section, we'll take everything we've learned up to that point and we'll start applying it to frame structures. It's a quite a short section, but all it does is it tries to generalize what we have done and what we have focused on in terms of line beam type structures and apply it to frame structures. There's, there's, not a, there's, there's no new learning, if you like. It's just about recognizing how what we've done up until this point applies to a different shape of structure. So at that point, I think you should be in great shape. You should have a much better understanding of bending moments and shear force diagrams. You will be able to tackle any kind of a structure, so long as it's statically determined. And you, again, will, will, will just have a really good understanding of the sort of fundamental things that tend to trip up so many engineering students. Um, in my sort of day-to-day -day dealings with students, it always astonishes me how many sort of slightly struggle with bending moments and shear force diagrams and try and avoid them as much as possible. That's not really a, a viable way forward as, as an engineer. So, um, as I said, Great to have you here. I think you're really going to enjoy the course and I think you're going to get an awful lot out of it. So let's get stuck in.